Oh yeah, a little music to get us started here this morning. It is 514. Welcome back. And hey, spring has sprung. Mm -hmm. And the true sign of the season is the opening of Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens in Akron. Okay, so you know baseball has their opening season and opening day. Yeah. Well, now they are celebrating their opening today, and that's where we find our Kira Cotton this morning. Good morning, Key. Hey, good morning, Austin and Danielle. This is definitely a highly anticipated day. Again, as you guys mentioned, Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens is celebrating the start of their 2023 season. And joining me this morning to talk about it is curator Julie Fry. Julie, how are you this morning? I am well. How are you? Doing fantastic. Thank you so much for having us out again. For people that don't know what Stan Hewitt is all about, give us a little brief synopsis. Sure. So we're a historic estate, so we have 30 acres of gardens as well as our 64 thousand square foot manor house that you can come and tour where they're the home of F.A. and Gertrude Cyberling. He was one of the co-founders of the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company. Absolutely amazing. And this year, you guys are kicking off the season today. What can people expect from this year's featured exhibit? So um, the exhibit this year is called Connections, Love and the Ties That Binds. So we're talking all about those personal family relationships, the marriages their six children had and kind of the lives that they led from those unions that they made. And we're also celebrating Goodyear's 125th anniversary this year through a video series that you can see on our YouTube channel. Absolutely amazing. Julie, what is one of your favorite aspects here in this room that we're seeing here today? Uh, the dining room, probably that frieze around the top that painted its Canterbury Tales by a New Jersey artist named Robert Sewell, but I think it adds a really nice touch to this room. Absolutely amazing. And we're kicking off the season today. What are you most excited about for people to come back and people come back year after year? After year. Well, April, we're actually having a spe special incentive for the next month. So okay. if you come and buy one self-guided ticket and bring a canned food item to donate to the Akron Canton Food Bank, you get a second ticket for free for a self-guided tour. So that's a great initiative. Come back in April, see us in the spring, um, and get a buy one, get one ticket. Absolutely amazing. Julie, thank you so much for having us out here today. If you guys want to visit Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens, you have plenty of time to do that. Today is the first day that they're opening after a three-month hiatus. They get the season ready for you. They take the time to prep. They're open now through December 30th, and they are located at 714 North Portage Path. Again, that featured exhibit for this year is Connections, Love, and the Ties That Bind. You can find ticket information at stanhewitt.org. And again, guys, this is a Northeast Ohio staple. If you're a history buff, this is the perfect place for you. I learn and find something new every time I come out here, so an amazing opportunity just for you to explore all that North East Ohio has to offer. Yeah, and it's a spring break coming up for a number of schools, yeah. and so maybe parents can take their kids. Yeah, there. a fantastic opportunity to do this. And, we, you know, in the realm of opening day, Kiera, what is their situation on the hot dogs and beers <laughs> that they have there at Stan Hewitt? <laughs> Of course. This is an upscale place, Austin. Yeah. I don't think you'll find any of that here. Well, that Kay. sounds pretty upscale to me. All right, Kira, thank you so much. We'll check in with you a little bit later. Always trying to put her on the spot. What are you doing?